right now as we speak, County Council is having that special called meeting in the building behind me. And sure to come up is this report, which says that half of the county's rescue squads are in poor financial condition. This report was done earlier in the year before the collapse of Williamston EMS, according to Anderson County Administrator Rusty Burns. As you can see in that report, they predicted that it was on a day-to-day -day basis. The report details the finances of the eight rescue squads contracted by Anderson County to answer medical calls. The research shows four of those are in poor financial condition. In fact, according to the report, Williamston had only enough money to operate three more days. The county contracted MedShore, a private company, to provide service there temporarily. Squads in Belton and Iva got a fair financial rating, with only Pendleton getting a good rating. MedShore, a private company, wasn't rated. In a statement to WYFF News 4, Teresa Locke Morgan, the chairperson of the county's EMS advisory commission, said, We have plenty of great things in place and will take this information and go forward with it and try to continue to be proactive instead of reactive. Active with all the Medicaid and Affordable Care Act cuts that we've had. With questions and concerns about EMS in the future, Byrne says the meeting tonight is to clear the air. So that's what the ultimate goal is, to provide the best solution to take care of our citizens. Now the report also makes several recommendations, one of which is merging some of the rescue squads, but at this point no action has been taken that's still being talked about at this hour. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4, live in Anderson County.